See Fernandez working his way to the outside lane. Ooh, close there is Bourdais. Is that Carpentier or Tracy? He's getting Both. sandwiched by the players' <laughs> teammates. Cold oh. tires for Bourdais. Cold, cold tires. The car's not doing what they want to do. The players' teammates, both cars are warm tires. Three or four laps in order to get up to temperature. There's Bourdais coming out right in front of Paul Tracy, and the fun begins. Ooh. Riding him just a little bit. Remember, Carpentier is on the outside. There's Carpentier swinging in behind his teammate. Stay on the track without a penalty. I think the officials are not going to like that at all, Scott. I think you're totally right. That was not a cool move because Tony was already on the inside, and he pushed him against the wall on the inside. Nine laps to go. Ryan Briscoe, number 33-year leader. How long can he hold on? Tony, come on, they come together. And it's Briscoe into the wall, and that time he paid the price. Tony, come on. Is it a situation that he had to do that because of his tires? Yeah, and, and yeah, what he paid the price for it. Excuse me, Joe, he paid the price for it because he ended up slowing up, and his teammate Danny Welton has gone by. But another part of me, excuse me, move. But you know something? Into the tire barrier right there. But as we ride along with Tony, listen, on the gas, stays late, hard on the brakes right now. Turning left, a bang, knocks the camera off for us. He's going to continue on, but in the end result, he's going to end up being passed by his teammate. Again, there you see Tony going on the inside. A nice little clip and a bang going off. You see Weldon coming through there at speed and momentum, slipping past Kanan. No it's not over for the final positions in the top 10, though. Simona is trying to hold off Scott Dixon. She wants a top five. Marco will get a podium behind Elio Castro Neves. Oh, look at her get sideways. It's going to be a sprint to the blind. Has Dixon got it? Has, she, has he got the run? Three oh, across the line. I think Dixon did get it. Who got it? Dixon. Wow. Scott Dixon, that was a gutsy effort. He started 20th, and Scott Dixon here to stay. Here we go. Look at this. Scott Dixon in the middle in the red car. Viso on the far left. Simona on the right. And that tells you the story as to why Scott Dixon got it. Fantastic. Because the Honda Grand Prix of St. Petersburg here to start the 2011 season is green. Gonna try four wide. We have contact and a huge crash right in the first corner. And the car is upside down. Elio Castro Nevis involved. Scott Dixon is involved. The twice clear by Conway. And I cannot tell who that is. That's oh, it's Marco, Marco Andretti. Andretti. Conway's got problems. You see the right rear suspension is broken on his car. The six of Ryan Briscoe also involved. And look at Dixon. Remember, he talked about it. For the last three years, he has not been around for the finish of this race. And it looks like he may not be again. Now, the 0-2 of Oriol Serbia gets refired. And all cars going in all different directions. Well, and it looked like Marco got some help from Elio Castroneves. Castroneves got into his rear tire and sort of pushed him over as well. I go back to Al Unser Jr. talking in the driver's meeting. He said, guys, you got to take care of each other through these first couple of corners. Obviously, didn't take enough. Let's just ride along. A wheel to wheel with Tony Kanaan. What a great drive. Now he's just got to. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Half the field in a wreck. Morning hour rush hour. What a view. <laughs> this looks like downtown what? Tokyo. A lot of uh, finger communication. So Graham Rahal being emphatic with his uh, gestures. Uh, I'm not gonna give up on this thing. Turn four, and we see a great battle at the front. But watch what happens here. Everybody goes for that same piece of real estate as we talk about. And then number 26, Carlos Munoz into the back of Graham Rahal. The 12 of Oriol Servia, 41, Jack Hawksworth, and everybody else has nowhere to go. Ray Hall. He just got creamed he from did. behind. Just creamed. That wasn't even a bump. 
He's past the trouble area, so now, as he comes down through, turn 12 into 13, he's gonna say, hey, Pop, look at me, I'm gonna win in my first IndyCar start, out of turn 14. Here comes Graham Rahal, say hello to a new star in the IndyCar series. Rahal wins at St. Petersburg. The celebration begins at Newman Haas Landing. And remember, this team has won eight championships in the old cart and champ car days. And uh, boy, they are just thrilled here in the second start for the team, first ever for Graham to take home the trophy. And Jack has caught up with a very happy... I, I clipped uh, Viso, damaged my front wing, but we were doing it. We were losing a lot of positions, but I think we could have maintained a good, uh, a good pace. Unfortunately, I couldn't hold it. You know, that was, uh, that was it. Uh, very sorry for the trip. We got some problem out on the racetrack, so we're going to have to let you go, Sebastian. Leap. Yeah, drama for J.R. Hildebrand. What hey, in the world? We were under Full caution, course right? caution. Under caution. <laughs> He's already under the gun for passing under the caution. I wonder if he was trying to let Simona by, and that's what happened. Maybe this will tell us. What? Oh. Who was that? That was Will Power. Oh boy. That was Will Power. This is this is the accordion effect. Well, something happened. Look at Ken. Well, Power was slowing up to get his tires warm. Uh, Hildebrand wasn't watching where he was going. Oh my goodness! Right over the top of Power's car. Is Will Power's car okay? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. And more debris on the racetrack. The yeah. drivers are aware of that. That's good. Oh. JR is okay. It was a low speed incident, but that was awkward. That was. No, for a low speed incident, there's a lot of damage that on that thing. With, without a mirror anywhere. Here it's it is from trick. Will's view. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, heck. You know, you hear a lot about distracted driving these days, and we make a lot about the steering wheels. You can see right there on Jim. Be able to hold them off on cold tires. Grosjean goes to the outside on hot tires and on the preferred line. Is it possible? No, it's not. Contact. It has been both of them crashing. And award goes through. Puddle oh. award to the front. Can you believe what you've just seen here in St. Pete? The top two in this race are into the tire barrier, neither willing to relinquish that top spot. Advantage to Romain Grosjean on the hot tires. Scott does the right thing to defend all the way down and just goes so late on the brakes, loses the back end, Townsend. We didn't see that the first time around. Rear lock, fires him into the 28. No fault to Romain Grosjean there, and just look at the frustration. Ross is close enough. Looking, looking, turn one. And he slides, him. there's contact, they wicked him. spins. Bordet goes through. Sebastian Bourdais is leading with Graham Rahal behind him. Here sees Rossi come on the inside. Perfect line here, but Rossi's already sliding. We talked about less downforce mm. in the car and just hits the back end of Wickens. Yeah. See, he didn't have this run on him last time. He had no choice. He had to yeah. go for that. Wicken. He had no choice. Oh. This is where he starts to slide. Yeah, fans love it. Listen. What a great race. See, he wasn't this close. This will show us. This will show us. Yeah. Now, I'll say that the stewards are reviewing the contact between the 6 and 27. Uh, what purpose? So well, it doesn't do 6 any good. Who cares? <laughs> because yeah. Rossi's going to finish in 4th, yeah. and they could penalize oh, okay. him deeper sure. into the grid. But they can't give him back. They can't give Wickens back the no. win, no. Yes. They say, Marty, oh, what a feeling. <laughs> and now he's heading across the street. And he's going over to the sign. Oh, wow.
an emotional moment for everybody. And oh, so appropriate. And it shows you the respect and love that all these racers had for Dan.